We got Clear Wing, we got Crystal Wing, but now we have a Clear Crystal Wing added to Yu-Gi-Oh! So, we're gonna try to summon it. I have my doubts if I'm gonna be able to do it, but Mario knows Synchros. He should be able to manage, right? Right? We'll see. Yeah. If anything, Synchros are my favorite summoning style, so... Yeah. I wonder if they're my least favorite. I mean, your one of your favorite decks is Black Wings, so. though. I do like Black Wings. Yeah, so like one of my first thoughts to bring this out is, uh, oh, I have a Dark Magician deck that runs uh, Crystal Wing, but you got to focus on the Clear Wing aspect to bring this card out. Then I thought, oh, maybe Black Wings, but I don't think that'll work either. You need some very specific stuff to bring this out. So I'm bringing a Resonator deck that's built for Red Dragons, which are not Clear Wings. But I took out all the stuff that specifically says Red Dragon in it and added a few other things to make this a little more possible. We're going to see if it works. It's definitely not built very well, but it is built. Yeah, you got the, the Junk Synchrons and all that noise noise. Yep. Bring out the uh, Junk Synchron. Using it, I can bring out a level 2 or lower monster. Nice, from nice. the graveyard, like the Junk Converter. Then, using both of them, I'll synchro them off to bring out the Junk Speeder. All right. Junk Speeder allows me to... One thing people are pointing out is a mistake is not putting the Junk Speeder in the Extra Deck Zone, because obviously you can't put normal monsters in the Extra Deck Monster Zone, so just trying to, you know, you conserve and use space. Okay, yeah, I guess if you're trying to fill up your stuff with other things. Not, right. not realizing that I looked at, like, how to summon this thing and what it needs, but I actually never looked at the effect of the new <laughs> clear crystal wing. So, I'm thinking, should I look at it or should I just be surprised? I'm going to stick and be surprised. We'll do that. <laughs> See, so you got some Stardust stuff going on in there. All your junk. Uh, let's see... Okay. Going to also play my Synchro Chase. Spe continuous spell. Mm -hmm. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the effect activations of your Synchro Monsters with Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust in the original names. Nice. Okay. So can't just shut down your cool things. Very nice. No, you cannot. Miracle. Very good. Uh, let's see. Let's add uh, Stardust Xiao Long to the top of the deck. Then, ooh, okay. Go straight to level eight, meaning I- I also just looked at my hand for the first time. It ain't looking good out here. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We'll just bring out a normal Stardust and of course with Arriving Miracles. All right, and so couldn't get there yet. bring back the junk speeder I just used mm -hmm. and draw that extra card. Let's see. So four. Tuna, 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 tuna. I'm trying to get to that seven right now. Yeah, it's not there yet. It is not, especially since Stardust Trail was supposed to be going off. Hmm. Which was going to be the level 7 that was going to get me to the appropriate monster level. I don't know. It happens. Uh, you know, I might as well just bring out the other one to make you sweat a little bit. Sure. Yeah, that pretty much counters anything fun I would do. Um, oh gosh, really? <laughs> All right, well, oh, you know, what happened? I got two rich out of the Dragon Lords opening hand you gotta love that yeah all right well uh we got that now there's two things we could go for here we could try to make my own tuners but they use monster effects that you will promptly shut down um we could just try to clear your field but stardust is kind of good at not getting cleared um and i don't think that well yeah this i uh, cannot do much of that i don't have any tuners even though that was my fear that I had too many tuners going into this, but just didn't get them, so that is what it is. Um, so I can get that, and you know, let's just do it to do it. Yeah. It'll be funny. 
Just gonna take one of these guys. I need a tuner, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, then... I can. I need a tuner. You have two on your side. May I yep. borrow? Ah, uh, yeah. Of course, I can't go straight into the uh, crystal wing with these two. So, and I will not be able to do much otherwise. Yeah, you need a synchro monster for that one. Couldn't you go into your red dragon that you have in the deck? Yeah, I only have one in there, but and he's not the answer for this situation. But here he is. <laughs> oh yeah, when you summon, when oh you geez, synchro summon, I could use that effect. You mirror matchup user. <laughs> I didn't even know that worked for you, honestly, because the times we so faced good. this, well, I think the times we used this deck against other things, they weren't against synchro decks. <laughs> I didn't yes. even know. We'll just attack the Stardust. You and jerk. yeah, you know, you know I ain't popping an effect right now, so <laughs> we'll let that sit. Hope I can get something. I don't know if I'm gonna rebound off this. As I said, the deck's not perfect. It's probably it's probably doesn't belong here. Um, but you know, there's some things. Send away my start a sync run. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, I get both effects off finally. Start a trail and start a dragon. Start a synchron, I mean. Very nice. I'm like holding, I'm like clutching that uh, that card right now, making sure it's like, you gotta try to stop me. I'll crystal you, wing you. I'll crystal wing you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Get another arriving miracle to special summon the start trail. Okay. Only I still had that one. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out like a, a way to lower numbers or something. Let's see. I guess. If I still had one of the junk synchrons on the field, I might have been able to do something right now. First off, activate Stardust Trail, and then activate the Arriving Miracle, which allows me to get that other draw off. Yep. I have a card that's situationally good, but not in this match. Uh -oh. Not in this pseudo mirror match. It's not perfect mirror, obviously, but the decks are similar. Well, funny enough, this is one of the few times I'm actually able to bring this guy out, too. Like all those other videos when I was trying to bring this guy out? Hmm. I think I go for this. Oh. Red Rain. What does that do? Destroys all uh, monsters on the field except for the one with the highest level. That just, oh, you're trying to get rid of Crystal Wing that way. Yeah, because my guy is, he's doomed no matter what. But if I can, you know, take Crystal Wing with him, I'm happy. Oh, no, this is actually a bad trade for you. So I'm not only going to negate that. Okay. With the, with the card. But. Ah! <laughs> Majestic Stardust also nukes your field for it. Lovely. Very nice. He basically, he basically, comp he basically just throws himself at your field to negate it. It's like, no, I'll sacrifice myself for this. Boom. Very nice. Oh, good news, I got a return in the graveyard now. Sweet. <laughs> no dragons to uh, be protected by it, but you know, it's all good. Imagine this guy was a lot easier to bring out. This guy would be abused so much. Yeah, a true. negate and a nuke. But he does have a specific means of being brought out, so mm -hmm. it balances it a little. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's also not going to work. Um, I could just run for this. But it doesn't beat a clear crystal wing. But I got to put something on the field anyway, so. Because we know you got some potential. Put out anything else and I'm doomed. So, return. And yeah. It's pretty much going to be my turn. Waiting on you? Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I guess I'll just... Uh... Yeah, I'll just activate it so that way it stops bugging me. Sure. Put him right here. Uh, yeah, whatever. Give me that juicy draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so weird that it works like that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Tuning. 
gets me that ju last Junk Synchron I have in the deck. Very nice. I think I think I'm able to be able to do it now. Oh, okay. So I'm going to sacrifice my crystal, my crystal dragon. Q. You don't need to freeze me, game. I got nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Then do that. Allows me to add illuminate. All right. Oh, that's right. Was that banished? Stardust Trail, right, was banished. Mm -hmm. Then I summon out the Junk Synchron. Junk Synchron allows me to bring back a level 2 or lower monster, of course. Sure. I'll bring out the Double Warrior. Classic. Next, I will use it to bring out... Now Junk Speeder's not going to work. Would Excel Synchro work? I don't know, man. I think Excel Synchro will work. So I use these two to bring out the Excel Synchron. Okay. Then, of course, I get my Arriving Miracle. I also get the Synchro Chase off. Oh, yeah, that guy can change his level too. Nice. Mm hmm. I forgot about this guy. Like, I saw him at the last second, but we were already done setting up. I was like, yeah, so I'm sure. I'm sure he's like a. Uh... Drizella has that under control. <laughs> sure. As I preface this with, I don't think my deck's gonna work, but. <laughs> well, to be fair. To be fair, a lot of times we say that. <laughs> a lot of times I think it's gonna work and it doesn't work. <laughs> I finally bring out the crystal, the clear wing. Oh, but dragon. you had to use Excel Synchron for that, okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, let's see. But. Basically, um, if I still had my Synchro Chase going, I might have been able to bring out the Excel Synchron back and immediately used it. All right. I'm figuring out what to do for next duel. Cause honestly, yeah, yeah. I, that's all good. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do much. I'll just attack into you. I don't think I can finish you off this turn. I don't either. Oh, right. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at the attack points like, yeah, yeah, you know what? I don't think you can. Did you just like miss that he was on the field or something? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I have him off in the corner. That's probably what it was. <laughs> yeah. I had him facing off against a crystal wing. Mm -hmm. Not exactly a winning matchup for him, but, you know, at least he got to look tough. Then activate the arriving miracle, sure. which of course... There, on the top. And... Is there anything else I can do? Is there legitimately anything else I can do? Nope. Alright. This is gonna hurt. This yeah. is gonna hurt. Can't say I'm gonna get it out. Like, i still not drawn a single Resonator or, or Tuner Monster. So, in a, in a Resonator deck. Uh, I'm just gonna summon this because it's fun. Uh, so, I was looking for some non-Tuner Monsters because I, this deck's gonna struggle with non-Tuner Monsters. At least lower level non-Tuner Monsters. Um, so I added the level one sensation. Uh, let me just, uh, let's see, what's he boosted by again? Cool. So we're gonna go with you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and, actually, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's that, that's that. Uh, that, wait, no, um, no, he's, he's gonna go with, uh, um, he's, he's gonna, and you, and you. Okay, so I have Eater of Millions. I just completely forget how to use him, so I'm just gonna click stuff and, and get him out. Uh, we're gonna hold on to hope that I can summon that, but we don't need that. Eh, eh, we, we do need that, we might need that. Um, we don't need both of them. Boom. Eater of Millions, just have a level one. Cause that can be helpful to get me into one of my means of summoning. Um, but still no tuners, so. Actually, I really shouldn't have summoned him yet. <laughs> but it's fine. Let's see. Oh, no, this is fine. Pop Scarlight. I hate you. Uh, protect myself. And now let's destroy. Let's see. Dur, 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 dur. 
What to do again during the damage step? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Rawr. Are you? Oh, you're gonna banish my clear wing? Oh yeah. Big jerk moves. And here I thought I was actually gonna bring out them big boy. Uh -huh. We're both certainly playing sloppily, trying to do so. I guess I'm not. I'm just not really given any hint of the materials to do so. Junk warrior. Yep. Junk warrior. Take that. Bring this card back out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was literally looking through. What are some good level one non-tuner monsters? And it's like eater of millions. Sure, that's a good standalone card at the very least. Huh. What up? Oh, I used up all the starters already, didn't I? Yeah. It was a lot used for sure. Let me see. Our extra decks are starting to wind down a little. Oh yeah, you wouldn't say. I know we I could have won, but that's not what oh, we're yeah, trying yeah. to do here. Yep. Bye bye. I know. I'm just getting it out of the way because. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we'll go next. Oh my goodness, I got a tuna! Okay. So. Bam. Red resonator. Go there. That can summon this boy out. Kablooey. Now. Um. Yeah, it can't go quite exactly where I wanted to go. Um. Why can I not? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, because you need specifically two monsters to get into that first phase. Easy peasy. Um, so, you know what? We'll use you and you. I'm, I'm going to keep the Red Dragon Archfiend just so I can actually end the game once this inevitably fails. So we'll do that. He'll bring out a Tuna. We got a nice level 3 Tuna right here. Boom. And then we can at least go for this boy. So it's part one on the field. However, I think that's as far as this goes for me. <laughs> yeah, you get your arriving miracle off, I assume. Yep. <laughs> Very good in the in the synchro mirror match. All right. Yeah, that seems to be as far as this extends. I did consider a link cross, but link cross is banned now, so. Yeah, unfortunately, link cross is banned. Yeah, because that would actually help this out significantly. But oh, I, I completely imagine. understand the reason he's banned, because I've used him for purposes very similar to why he is banned. And unfortunately, it makes synchro decks a little too consistent. And it makes, you know, decks able to go half synchro and be viable. Like, I abused him in my dinosaur deck. You shouldn't allow that. You should never allow Xyla to have fun. Sure. You know what? Oh, yeah. Hawk if Fibrax turns into. Oh. What? Alright, I didn't think about Hulk of Fibrax bringing out the uh, Shooting Riser Dragon. Actually, that is actually a really clean way to doing it, too. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if your opponent, you know, this all relies on your opponent's turn, but still. Uh, what's his effect do again? Oh, you can alter his level by sending a monster to the grave. Yeah, um, so, so I want to make him a 3. Do I need to reduce it by the monster's level? Yeah, by 4. Cool. Just click and send. So boom, I have a three and a seven on the field. You know what? I'm going to end the turn. I sure. want to see it. I want to see it, Zylo. I want to see it. Nice, nice, nice. What can I activate from there? Oh yeah, those guys, of course. That's not happening. Um. Oh, why? Interesting. What? So it, it's not letting me uh, go for him right now. Wait, you have a level three. You have a level seven. <laughs> you, it's a clear wing monster. Where is he? Did he get banished at some point? Is he not in your action deck? I'll be honest, I may have misclicked and banished him for my uh, Eater of Millions. Yeah, I did. But this wasn't a clean... Uh. It wasn't a clean usage anyway. I want a clean usage. <laughs> Just give it to Archfiend. <laughs> but yeah, no, we know that's uh, reasonable now. I want to I wanna actually use the effect. I don't just want to summon him when I'm already winning. Yeah, you gave up a while ago. <laughs> I mean, look, I only just got a tuner the last two rounds of the game, man. <laughs> okay, so that's... We got a Resonator call. So it's something. Red Resonator is always some fire. Uh, 
Synchron Resonator is pretty good for this play. Uh, you know, they're all pretty good right here. I'm going to get Red Resonator. However, however, we don't got like anything else. So we can hold on to that. That's a normal summon. We're going to put out the Eater of Millions as a protection. And we're going to banish the main guy. <laughs> Again. Uh, no, we'll just do that. I don't really care about his power all that much in that. Needs five, right? Yeah, it does. I'll do one of those and. Yeah, I probably did misclick him at this very moment that I'm considering right now. And you know what? I don't think Red Rising is the answer to get this play going, so I'll just ditch both Red Risings. Oof. Eater of Millions. Alright, Eater of Millions is probably a bad choice for this deck because you don't want to banish anything. Um, but you know, it was a, it was a good thought when, uh, when the time was around. Um, so that summoned could bring out that. It's only going to get me as far as a uh, Hawk of Fibrax won't get me into the next play. I got this card and this card to help me advance my plays next turn, and hopefully I'll draw a monster. Um, but with that, it's a very lenient turn. Could have also pulled a Zylo and just skipped, but nah. We'll give you uh, one basic wall to get over. Mm-hmm. Instead of, gonna... instead of the wall of forgetfulness. <laughs> All right. Uh, activate. Mm -hmm. Sending away the junk synchron to get a. Uh... Yeah, let's get the start of synchron to the hand. Very good. Then, normal summon the doppel warrior. Just so I can tribute it. The special summon, the doppel warrior. That card goes off. Good stuff. Allowing, allowing me to get... Let me see. Uh, yeah, let's get the Stardust Illuminate. Illuminate. Then... Activating the Stardust Illuminate. Let's see. Illuminate. I keep saying Illuminate. I don't know why. It's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah. Do I? Do I just let this monster get eaten so that way I, you don't get to decide? I mean, if oh. you're not putting anything else out, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. I did get another monster. We can play. Okay, so you got... Let's focus. Let's focus up. This could be our chance to do something important with our lives. You got <laughs> yourself a level four tuner. I have this card. I also have Red Resonator plus Red Sprinter. Now those two can get me into, um, well, with Eater of Millions still being on the field, I can use that to get me into um, a Needle Fiber and a uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. That's probably enough. Um, is, well, I've already ditched the Red Riser, so I don't need to consider a combo that goes with them. Um, so first we're gonna play Harpy's Feather Duster. And then, yeah, level four tuner's not important. Although I could use that for my needle fiber. That sounds fun. Sure. Mind control. Just keep taking this boy. And then, do we go straight into that now? No, I might as well keep the eater of millions while I can. So, the normal summon red resonator. That'll allow me to bring out the red sprinter. Nothing crazy happening there. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I think if I have more stuff... Yeah, that would be good. But I did not have more stuff. So we can go straight into the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, but instead we're going to use your boy to go into something. Now, do I use the Resonator? Probably just go straight into it and keep my Red Sprinter. Yeah, let's do that. Well, keep my Eater of Millions, rather. So, Alka Fibrax, which inevitably becomes one piece of the puzzle. Then we go into Resonator. <laughs> didn't say which one, but you know, it's a Resonator. That's the important thing. We get the Clearing Synchro Dragon. And at this point, I don't believe I can go further. I do have a Monster Reborn, but it's not like I have exactly what I need to uh, get things going. If I had a level three, oh, actually, let's look at your graveyard. Yeah, you don't have a level three non-tuner, so I don't think I would have been able to fabricate the uh, mm -hmm. situation for myself right here. So it's just going to be I have a semi-decent field right now, 
and by next turn I'll be able to get the boy out, assuming I keep this. So we roll with it. Um, almost I just, got to battle. I just thought of it right now too, Zylo. Imagine Eater of Millions was also a level one tuner. He would be banned, I think, or limited or something. Maybe. I mean, I, it depends, like, what he's able to be searched and grabbed by. Just being a tuner, I don't think would make him banned, but... I, I literally put him in his deck for the reason that he's not a tuner, so it's hard to say. Wish Converging Dragon. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do hate that you got rid of my Arriving Miracle, I will say that. Yeah, it's a really good card. <laughs> so... so. You know I'm getting rid of it. Uh, do we go for this now? I suppose there's no reason not to. We all know where I'm headed with this Hulk of Fibrax. Mm-hmm. All right. So, actually, I don't even need to go right for Riser Dragon. I can go for my um, Martial Metal Marcher. And both are pretty much the same survivability. These are my two different plays to uh, manage this. So let's go straight for the Marcher this time around. When that's summoned, I think I get a... Uh, yeah, tune it back to my graveyard. So that'll be nice. And he's special mm -hmm. summoned, so that's good. So there's definitely some plays in this deck where it's like, if you get to your uh, Metal Marcher first, then you can get something to help facilitate your clear wing and get it out. Um, I just didn't think of the right play. So that's one of the reasons why some like Eater of Millions is in here. There's probably a, a deck that probably can use this new oh, card yeah. really well that we're not aware of. So I'm sure I, the I audience feel like can yours, if just switched up a little bit, might be able to get there pretty easily. And like, yo, if the classic um, synchro decks with like all the glow up bulbs and all that stuff, all the five different variations Jet Synchron were in there, then those would hit it real easy as well. But 80% of those cards are banned now, so. Yeah. All right, Red Resonator goes down. Speed Warrior's only effect. When he's, the turn he's normal summoned during the battle phase, I can double his attack points. Yep, and as predicted, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. He does not currently have an effect to activate, um, so I will actually take a quick gander at his effect. Uh, let's see. If your opponent activates an effect, you can make him gain attack equal to that monster's attack. And then he's unaffected by your opponent's activated effect, so he's a defensive play. It looks like he's going to be hard to kill. And when a spell or trap is used, you can negate the spell or trap. Okay, so he protects himself against monsters and has a negate for spell or traps. Mm -hmm. cool. And if this card is sent to your graveyard by opponent's card, meaning by battle, card effect, or anywhere, mm -hmm. you had a win add from one your win. deck to hand. Not massive for my deck, but I think I think this card is mainly meant for its archetype, the wind, the windups, and the wind witches, probably. Could be. Um, let's see how dirty we can get here. Monster Reborn, go right for this boy. Um, it is letting me use it because I have a spell card in use. And now, we have that there. And, ooh, I cannot use Eater of Millions and Clearwing Synchro Dragon to make a... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, because I forgot that Clearwing Synchro Dragon is not a tuner himself. That's right. Never mind. That's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do with this Red Resonator, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. Either way, looks like the world is mine. So we will go for attacks. Hit that with my nice little 600 attack. Hit that with your friendly neighborhood banish banisher. Get the clearing synchro dragon out here. And the new guy uh, pretty much got here on a point of already winning the duel, which is the thought that I had about like if you have a. F Hulk of Fibrax that brings into like a field with just clear wing synchro on it, then I, I don't know, your opponent's either going to beat it or you're already winning the duel because your opponent doesn't have anything. So it's hard to say if that's the right uh, way to yeah. do things. But There's, if you guys have any deck suggestions though, let us know. Yeah, Let like, us know in the comments. I'm, I don't know many uh, synchro decks, but I feel like it shouldn't be that hard when you get those ones that bring out those little tiny things. Maybe I'll try it. I was thinking about trying it with TG, um, but they're very archetype specific with their wording on the cards. And they also yeah. go from like fives and two fives together. And they have they have a two, but it, they don't have like seven. So I didn't quite see the math there. I mean, to be fair, this was I forced the math. It's not like I saw it right here right away. Uh, but, you know, he got out thanks to Hulk Vibrex. Uh, card that's always been overpowered and is now still overpowered. Fantastic. And now has a higher form that is going to be 
a little bit more annoying to deal with. Possibly. But Imagine hopefully you guys... Imagine all three on the field is all I gotta say. Imagine all three on the field. Yeah, true. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.